to water braiding and extensions my name is Joy Fido and we've got something really exciting for you today welcome on board okay so we got something really good today to share with you and as usual I would come across to share that message with you now what's been really really touching our hearts and touching our minds from our clients all over the world is what is it about wigs? They want to know so much about wigs. And as you can tell, I love wearing wigs. But of course, coming today with wigs, I decided to leave my hair natural so you can see what is behind the wigs that I wear. So the topic today is wig fashion. Or let's talk about wigs. That's what the topic is. Let's talk about wigs, which is wig fashion. So all my friends on other social media, Instagram, Facebook, I can see you all there, but we are actually videoing this as well so that we can put it on our YouTube channel. So if I'm not looking at you, don't think I don't know you're there. I know you're there and I'm going to be waving from time to time to you. But the, the focus today is we're going to video this and then we'll put it on YouTube. But the beauty of the social media is you get to see it live. You get to know what's going on before people who are on face, um, YouTube see it. So we've got in front of us today loads of wigs from various types. And as usual, being that we know hair and we've been in hair for so long, we decided we're going to share all that you need to know about wig to you. And like I said, why did I choose to do this? Um, inquiries has come from everywhere. My friends, people from all races, and I'm saying all races, because people generally assume that wig is just for black people. Oh, you black people wear wigs, you wear extensions, and white people don't wear wigs, they don't wear extensions. That is a myth. It's not real. I sit here and I weave my, 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 my white client's hair all the time. I put extensions in. I help them wear wigs so every race wears wigs and people have come to me again typical white people say but how do you do it how do you wear it how do I keep my hair before I wear it so we decided to do this video not necessarily to show you how to wear it today because we are going to do that some point in time but to show you the options there are in wigs so that you start thinking if, it, if this is something that you would love to get you know be part of you get to know about it you get well informed and well educated because this is what we do to share real knowledge with you so the first question we've been asked is why wigs why do people want to wear wigs now think about it this way wig is a fashion just like I wear clothes and then we go into fashionable clothes just like we wear shoes we wear rings we wear earrings wrist watches that's just what fashion is so I know most times when I put my wigs on you know like when I put the colorful ones on people go oh you're such um you're you're not blending in you're not you're not behaving like you appreciate the hair nature gave you you should be showcasing your natural hair that's all nonsense if you ask me that's nonsense just like your clothes just like your shoes you change them all the time you don't march around town barefoot and say nature gave you legs so you have to walk around without shoes you don't go bare naked and say because nature gave you body you're not gonna wear clothes same thing nature gave me hair but today i feel like wearing something on it it's like wearing a cap and so if that cap happens to be hair based why not i've had husbands here tell their wives well, i don't know why you do this and i said but why do you wear clothes so that's what the message is wigs is necessary for fashion wig is good for people who need an image to present wig is protective so right now we're in winter here in the uk the weather's gone really cold a wig will help to cover your hair a wig will also protect your own hair because the weather gets really dry and when it's dry your hair is sucked in and becomes so dry especially for afro hair it wants to snap and break that's why people struggle with their natural hair during winter wig will help to protect that so these are the reasons why wigs are good 
that doesn't mean you will mess around with your natural hair and say yes there's wigs so i'm not going to care about my hair you care about your hair and that's why I decided to show my hair because people look at me and they think I'm bald underneath. This is all my hair. And even if you're bald and you say you want to wear a wig, so be it. It's your choice. So that's, that's the why. This is why we do it. Everyone can wear a wig. I mean, I've seen young children who are struggling with, you know, alopecia. Maybe they were really ill and something went wrong. And for confidence sake this is why hair beauty is such a big thing in the female population our confidence get dented when we don't present the image we're looking for and that's what every hairdresser every hairstylist every beautician does the role we play now who is wearing it everyone look at celebrities and I say to people, do you see Beyonce going on stage without any hair on her head? Do you see or Rita Ora doing the same thing? Do you see um, Angelina Jolie walking around without something that gives her that image? Do you see these celebrities, uh, Oprah Winfrey, walking around on stage without presenting herself well? Everyone can wear what they feel like wearing. So people with thinning hair, I did a presentation once somewhere in one of the workshops and I had to explain all of this. Thinning hair, people who are struggling with bad hairstyles, I've had people finish, have hair done, it's such a mess, they go home, they take it out, they go, I cannot go to work because my image is not right. So we, they come here and I have to fix that. So bad hairstyles is a problem. Some people struggle with genetic hair problem. I've had... I know so many people who is just naturally does the way their hair is. They did not cuss it. And when I finished giving this um, uh, talk at this event, a lady came to me and said, I will buy whatever wig you put out there because I need it for my image. So that's the who. Anybody who has problems with their hair image can wear a wig. And you don't even need to have a problem. It will be something you feel like presenting a particular image. You can wear any wig you like. And that brings us to wear as well. Where? Where would you wear wigs to? Now, we have issues where people go for interviews and they go, because I went around there with my natural hair, they wouldn't give me the job. And do you know why that is the case? I mean, we may sit here and pretend that racism doesn't exist. You can pretend all you like. It does exist. And why is it a problem? The people maybe on that panel do not understand natural hair. And they are not willing to budge. They don't want to change to, to be in your mindset. So they go, you are okay. So sometimes you present an image to blend in what you are looking for. Not necessarily because you've sold out. It's about who you want to be. And so you take on that wig wear it attend the interview get that job and if from time to time you show your natural hair that's who you are no one's going to throw you out and say oh yeah because your hair wasn't looking right on that day but that image on the first day you know what they say put your your foot in the door the first foot in the door get in then whatever you want to do thereafter is your choice but where for every occasion that you know you need to be part of the system and if we can help you present that why not and when when again is whenever whenever you feel there's a need to present this image that will fit into what society is expecting from you because you know what they say no man is an island you're not going to stand on your own and say you know what i don't care what anyone says i'm going to be that person that i want to be it takes a lot to get there if you're strong enough to handle that fine but if you just want to survive today and then slowly move to that level then that's okay i can present my hair whichever way i feel like when i feel like it because i have understood what the message is so what again to prepare you for that event that's why you do it. That's the what. You're wearing it for something. So I've talked enough about why this has to happen and who wears it and all of that. So let's go into the wigs now. So you know the different types there are. Really please send your messages to us if um, your questions, if there's any question. 
if there's anything you never understood about wigs if there's anything you were confused about please feel free to write it down and we will be happy to respond to them so let's start with the there are two major types of hair or hair extension there's synthetic hair and there's virgin human hair again when we go into the virgin virgin hair or human hair you then hear 100 percent human hair and then you hear virgin hair the one that's actually come from somebody's head so i'll just i'll just leave it right now for synthetic and human hair and what i'm dealing with right now with the synthetic and the human is human being the virgin hair they come from somebody's head and then synthetic being the one made from plastics and petroleum and so whatever whatever it is that helps them create this we've learned over time that there's so many things they put in to achieve this so from the synthetic what people always want to know is texture i'm not going to go too much into texture because texture just comes in um there's wavy there's coily and there's straight so in that way we call it straight you can then break it down to whatever you enjoy wearing and so the, the synthetics that i have here are mostly coily which are the types that i like to wear and these are all my wigs apart from one that i'll show you again that's um one of my friends said i wonder how many wigs you have and i said you don't want to know but this is just a few of them so the big thing that people are really curious about is the base and that's what i'm going to show you mostly so this is the base now mostly for the synthetic synthetics when i was about to do this video and say you know i really don't want to go into synthetic and my daughter was like mommy you have to talk about synthetic there are people who still wear synthetic hair yes people wear them why do they wear them they are really easy to manage easy to manage in the sense of whatever you get is what it is so you don't have synthetic and you go let me go change it let me let me coil it let me straighten it it if it's straight it's straight if it's coily it's coily so they come like that and this was one of my wigs that i really loved so much what i loved about this was the naturalness of it it felt like afro hair that's been that's been uh curly curly permed and this i wore for a really long time but of course now i don't wear much of synthetic again so that's the kind of thing you'll find the base are just basic and usually they have the band that helps to hold it in place this again is one of the reasons people are scared of wearing wigs what if the wind comes and it blows it and no there are no winds blowing your hair these days because there is there is um bands in all of them this is another of my synthetic hair again that i loved wearing um again you remember i talked about color this is synthetic you see the ombre feel which is it starts black and it slowly starts going into blonde you can see most of my makeup there so again what are we looking at um this is how it was made and this is how it will remain you cannot change that texture and that goes the band again to hold it in place and these are the little bits that makes the base so you see all these bits that's all of these are machine made um i took a trip to china once where i actually watched them doing all of this and this is supposed to be like the 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 frontal part of it while this is the back so you see how that flows across synthetic another one again just tells you that i really love the curly hair look at that different colors this is where coloring was such a big thing for me different color 27 30 33 are mixed in this particular one again the inside and this one what they had mostly was the combs so you see the combs and the combs help help to make sure it's sitting in place and then the bands were on the side so you could just pull the bands and make it tighter so synthetic again the way it is is the way it will always be now from time to time we will again come back and give you some video on how to care for these wigs so this one again has a comb and the band is here 
and the combis here so again mixed colors this has color 4 color 1b and 30 in there giving me again that afro feel that i love so that's synthetic or looked at remember we said synthetic and human hair so then i started we started going more into the virgin hair now and this is one of my favorite which <laughs> is one of the very controversial ones when i wear them um this is color 27 and a hint of 30 in it this is our virgin hair now the difference with the synthetic and the virgin is you can style them now i could go and straighten this hair and take out all the waves that's in it so it takes heat and it can change shape to whatever you want it to be you can make it really tight curls like this or you can leave it when i wear this ones i prefer just the wavy look so you see all of these are things that i created and then what it did now this is where we start get it starts getting interesting this is the um frontal of it so you start hearing frontal hair or closure frontal is when it goes on the whole hairline and then the whole idea of frontal was to give you that image of the hair is growing from your head so it goes really really it's like a really thin lace that is used to create that whole band of the hairline and you can now open any part of it and give it that natural look what they did not do with the virgin hairs was to put the bands in them there were no bands in them so they just come like that occasionally you get them come with the combs but sometimes there are no combs as well i'll show you that and then what they also did was even if they tried to put bands in which was very rare they're all stuck in the corner so what i then do is i put the bands in them and depending on the type I'm wearing, I'll get a band to go with it. So because this was blonde, I didn't really see a blonde black band, so I went for the white one. So that's virgin hair. And then, of course, when you start looking more into virgin hair, you're going to start hearing people come, um, telling you, this is this brand, Cambodian hair, Peruvian hair, Indian hair, Chinese hair. So we start talking types of hair because these hairs are from these people's head. Now, while we are looking at the virgin hair, you're going to hear about the machine made or factory made and the handmade or homemade. That is something we're going to bring to you on this channel with time. Homemade and factory made. You're going to start knowing the difference between them. So, the next one I'm going to show you now is a homemade wig. I made this wig, one of my favorite wigs. Now, look at this part this is the closure now closures are quite small little piece that you just put in front of your hairline because most times they used to have like sometimes you hear them say three parts or two parts what they do they create some natural opening in the hair such that your hair can open easily and give you like a center party so you see that now this particular one didn't come with any of the openings so you i had to create that for myself but you can always create that very easily and this is the back of it now what we then had to do was find caps to fit remember how we had things doing the back of the synthetic hairs like that so we had to find a way to stitch the webs of hair to create the lines of hair across see that now when we go more into this i will tell you the difference between the homemade wigs and the factory made wigs so this particular one we just cleaned it and we haven't bothered to style it so that's why it's looking just plain but when i wear this i put a lot of curls in them and then because again i love wearing hair with lots of curls so that's how I style this. But this is a homemade wig. And I also colored it. So I home colored this to give me like a 30, color 30 at the base. A kind of ombre feel. So the next one here is a full lace wig. So you hear, remember this one was a frontal 
and then at the back was just regular cap here is not just a regular cap this is a bit of a cap but the cap is still exactly like a lace so the whole of the front here again frontal is all lace why do we need that again to give it a very natural feel so whatever this thing touches it looks like that thing so the color of your hair i mean your scalp may be like that and it looks like it you hear times when people say let me go bleach the knots because when they bleach it it looks even more natural than how it comes on originally you could do that just to change the base so it feels more natural or looks more natural but that's the difference so you see that it's more like um, a very flimsy net or flimsy uh, lace to make it look really really natural without all the heaviness that came with the synthetic hair so this is another one and this is a brand new one remember i was saying there are brand new ones so brand new one again the cap is not is not a full lace but i absolutely love this this hair and i'll tell you why again the frontal is all lace the volume in this hair is really really beautiful really really beautiful so this is one of the hairs that we are stocking now right now to our clients who want to have really good quality hair again as we go on we will start guiding you on how to care for your hair because that's one of the biggest things we've had people complain about they put all this money down to buy these most expensive hairs and they don't know how to care for it and in the end they end up losing or some people even think let me throw it away it's such a waste of my money no you put all that money down what you want to do is care for it and that's how come you can see even if it's synthetic hair i have them sit with me for as long as most times i end up just giving it to people who say okay i don't can you just give me that hair i want to wear it because i don't mess around with my hair i treat them really well and that's one of the things i'm going to be sharing with you guys with time how to really treat your hair well so you can have them and keep them and change them whenever you feel like wearing them so the next thing i'm going to do now is just put on one of these wigs so you see how this is done in seconds and i tell you one of the one of the biggest things i've had to deal with was the more my hair grew the thicker the hair became under my wig and one of my friends was was so funny she's like joy you can't wear this hair like this it looks like a nest but for me it doesn't really matter is that image i want to look at so i have the choice of cutting my hair again to have it really short so that i can wear the wig or i just keep pressing it down so it looks try my best as possible to make it as flat as possible so wearing the wig the first thing you want is your wig cap please 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 ensure you have a wig cap when you're wearing wig lots of people i've had people come here and they have no clue how to wear a wig first thing you need is a wig cap don't let the wig ruffle your hair because the more you wear your wig with a cap it ruffles your hair and starts to affect the health of your hair luckily this wig cap has two in it so two wig caps in your hand put it on to protect your hair so now this particular one i have is a brown color um i love to have the brown because it's closest to my skin color so it's not looking too artificial um i also wear the black ones as well again because most of the hairs are usually black so you see once i put it on i kind of like press my hair to go down and be flat for me so you try and put all the hair down thanks to everyone who's watching uh we absolutely appreciate you sorry i'm not really able to talk back to each person but yes we know you're there and thank you for watching as usual we just love to share our knowledge with you so my hair is all gone in i could have taken any of the ones on the table to wear but i got another one i just want to put on just a second so this is another one again um 
full lace now what you see is again the caps um sorry the combs or the pins this particular one remember i said to you some of them they don't put anything at all in it they put absolutely nothing in this hair i had to stitch that in and stitch that in and stitch the four of them in and then i put the band on it but what you're going to find is the full lace ones are the most expensive that you find um the homemade ones are not that expensive compared to the full lace ones but what are the benefits the benefits especially for me is the cap because when they are this flimsy because my hair is really thick they sit on them really well and what i found is the homemade ones in as much as i create what i want in the homemade one the cap that i use sometimes does not fit on my hair because i have a lot of hair now that doesn't mean that it would not be okay for anybody else if you don't have much hair on your head you're fine you will fit it and if you have your hair all braided in cornrows which is the main thing you do when you're ready to wear we braid your hair in cornrows so it flattens it then it's fine but because i'm trying to lock my hair i really can't go through the whole process of braiding cornrows so there is so now first thing i do is put i put the band on my head so i make it really go all the way down and then see that the pin and then i lift it up And then I insert the pin into, into the hair. You remember when I put the cap on, so the pin goes inside it. So once that's happened, then watch the sides. I push that pin down again. Now, if my hair was a lot flatter, I could have put that pin inside as well, but I don't. I just let it sit over. Then I pull the hair down. See that? And then I take it down to really sit with my face do you see the instant change of look now i will take my brush and brush the hair to suit me um i would have styled this hair to be what i want it to be but at the moment all i was really interested in just showing you all the options in week so and that's it instantly I have a new look so this is what we're saying about wig that's why we say it's a fashion you don't have to worry about trying to imitate anyone because lots of people get it so confused why are you trying to be what you're not if that was the case why do you wear the clothes you shouldn't be wearing why are we not back putting on lips on our body so seriously change your image to suit you that's my slogan change your image to suit you whatever you feel you're comfortable in that's why i showed you the different you know um textures it could be very coily it could be just big it could be it could be you know wavy it could be completely straight like i have here it could be you know lots of chunks whatever it is that makes you happy go for it I've, I've i also used to have the afro one completely afro and i want that too so it's up to you whatever you think you are looking for in that image nobody needs to know that is a wig you don't have to go announcing that this is a wig so thank you so much we're gonna stop now and then we look forward to seeing the next video when we're gonna tell you more about how you can care for your hair there's gonna be videos where we we'll show you how you create your own homemade wig and there's so much more coming your way from World of Britain and Extensions. Thank you and we love you and stay blessed.